Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about how to add mixed numbers. So the first two pages, you're going to take notes with me. We're going to do a couple problems together. And then you have a chance to uh, pause the video and try a problem on your own. And then when you're done, you can hit play and you can see how you did. All right, so um, our first problem we have is four and two fifths plus three and a half. And what I've done is I've created kind of a five step checklist on how to add mixed numbers. So step number one, and this is if needed, but we need to find the least common denominator if the denominators are not the same. So notice we have a five and two for our denominator. So we need to rename these fractions two fifths and one half with common denominators. So the least common multiple of five and two is 10. So that's gonna be our denominators. So it's gonna be 10 and 10. And now we need to rename these fractions with 10 as their denominators. So I know five times two will give me 10. So two times two is four. So that's equivalent. And then one half of 10 is five. So one half equals five tenths. So now I've jumped over to step three. I need to add these fractions. So four tenths and five tenths adds up to nine tenths. So I just found the sum of the fractions of one half and two fifths. So now I need to add the whole numbers. So the whole numbers in this case is four and three. So four and three add up to seven. And then finally, I'm gonna add the nine tenths to the seven. So it's gonna be seven and nine tenths. And then finally, I wanna to check to make sure that the fraction is written in lowest terms and nine tenths is, re is reduced. So that is our answer right there, seven and nine tenths. All right, let's turn the page. Let's do one more together. It's a little more complex. Um, here we have eight and seven tenths plus four and three quarters. Now, once again, we need to rename these fractions with common denominators. So the least common uh, multiple of 10 and four is 20. So we're gonna rename these fractions with 20 as denominators. So 20 and 20. So this is gonna be 14 twentieths. And this one is gonna be 15 twentieths. So now I'm gonna add these fractions together. So now we're in step three. And 14 twentieths and 15 twentieths gives us 29 twentieths, which if you write as a mixed number, is gonna be one and nine twentieths. All right, now I'm gonna add number four. I'm gonna add the whole number. So eight and four gives us 12. So I need to now add 12 plus one and nine twentieths which will give us a sum of 13 and 9 twentieths. And there's your answer. And 9 twentieths is in lowest terms, so we're all done. All right, so now that you understand how to add mixed numbers, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problem. And when you're done, hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I do this practice problem. So you had to add two and a third plus three and a half. So the first thing you have to do is you had to add one third and one half. So you had to come up with the least common denominator, which is gonna be six, because six is the least common multiple of three and two. Then you had to rename these. So one third equals um, two six, and one half equals three six. And now I can add the fractions. So two six and three six, equals five six. Now we need to add the whole numbers. So two plus three is five. And five and five six, that's our answer. And five six is in lowest terms. So there it is. All right, how'd you do?